Hello, this is Industrial Surplus. We're here today to do a video demonstration of an Akuma and Hawa 3-axis CNC vertical machining center. Model number Millac 4VA. New in 1986 with a Fanuc 11M CNC control. Here's the panel here. Table size on this machine is 51 by 16 inches. Travels are 32 in the X, 14 in the Y, and 19 in the Z. Maximum distance from the spindle nose to the tabletop is 23 and 5 eighths. Uh, spindle speeds are from 60 to 6,000 RPMs with a CAT 40 spindle nose taper. Table load capacity is 1,760 pounds. Uh, machine weighs about 14,500 pounds. Overall dimensions are 83 by 108 by 106. Has a rapid feed rate of 472 inches per minute. Uh, it's equipped with a, uh, if not all the manuals, just about all the manuals. And, um, and it also has the data card, pulse, uh, manual pulse generator, and it's a 15 horsepower spindle drive. Here's the uh, tool changer, which is a uh, 24 position. Electrical cabinet, everything is in good shape, nice and tidy, everything's neat. Nothing's been tampered or changed. Tape reader looks like it's still in there. If you use that. Also has an RS-232 port. A spindle chiller. Lubrication system. There's the other uh, side of the electricals. Coolant pump and tank. And heavy duty box ways. So we'll go ahead and uh, here's the RS-232 port here. You can see it. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, home the machine. And then go through uh, some of the paces. So we'll power it up. Start the hydraulics. Go to zero return. Z axis goes up to home. At the home position, the light comes on. Y axis out to home. The only uh, thing to notice on this is the Y axis, the uh, green light. It needs to be replaced or changed or it's just not working. And then the uh, x-axis of course. And that uh, is home too. We'll go to MDI mode we'll do some spindle speeds or motion. What are you doing? I'm going to do Spindle. All right. One thousand. Okay, I'll get right in. This is a pretty sensitive um, microphone on this camera, so uh, I'm sure it's magnified what uh, spindle noise you can hear. But it's nice and quiet. Changing gears for two thousand.
could uh, bring it back down and do a manual pull change. And uh, the other thing I wanted to try was uh, um, manual motion on the, uh, just so we can jog things around on the axis motions here. I don't know if you could hear this, but uh, for an 86 machine, this is quieter than some of our uh, 98 and 99 machines that we have. That is just uh, very nice, very solid, smooth, well-maintained machine. This is uh, really nice. All right, uh, we can go into our uh, home again. Are we? Home. Okay. So we're gonna go into auto mode. We have a little program that just kind of shows some tool changes, different spindle speeds, and uh, movements. I'm going to stand back so the camera can kind of capture the uh, movements here. Like I say, this is just a very nice machine. Real impressed. Very impressed. And of course, if you know Akuma and Hawa, you know the reputation that... Uh, they have as a machine tool builder and the quality of the machine that uh, they put out. Y axis coming out. Faster spindle speed. Now you can kind of see some of the box ways on the vertical. They're in good shape. I can see the lubrication is lubing very nicely. There's no uh, scoring, no wear. Real nice, and uh, under here, you, uh, looks like one of the chip guards is not attached, but it's, uh, again, it's a clean system, heavy duty box rays. And it's uh, coming back to the first uh, part of the program. And starting all over again. Okay, that's our machine. I hope you can tell from this video that it's in as good a condition as we feel it is from here on the floor. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you very much.